Hello, hi folks. Hey. I I wasn't going to do this. I was not going to do this. I wasn't going to do any cooking videos on this two-week trip. I was just going to fix my meals and maybe take a snapshot of a few of the meals throughout the week. I wasn't going to do a cooking video. But I thought, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to show you guys something. This is a big treat for Stein. Now, this is going to be two days worth of food for me. Two really good days. I'm making stuffed peppers, right? That's what I'm doing. So, I've got two green, two red peppers, all washed up, ready to go. I cut the tops off of them. And I'm using a two-quart Dutch oven. We get these peppers all hollowed out. All the seeds knocked out. We got us a nice pepper cup. And we set it in the Dutch oven. I'm going to do all four of those. I get these prepped and in the pan, and I'll come back and tell you what's going to happen next. See you in a minute. Well, there you go, folks. There's my four peppers. And we're going to take it from there. Next step. What I'll be doing next is I'll be preparing this rice. Now this is Nor's Spanish rice. These are awesome. They're a buck a pack. And you just prepare it on, based on the instructions. And at home when I make these, I would fry up about a half a pound of ground beef and put that ground beef with the Spanish rice. After this is prepared, I put the cooked ground beef in with this Spanish rice. Four peppers, this much rice, and a half a pound of ground beef. Works out perfect for this recipe. It's just enough to fill those peppers, have a little left over that kind of falls off the tops. Now, ground beef. When you're out camping, fresh ground beef, it's hard to keep. I mean, if you gotta keep, try to keep things cool for an extended period of time, now like I'm out here two weeks, well, I don't wanna have to run to town every time I need fresh meat. It's something to consider. Okay, the ground beef I'm going to use for this, I've got a half a pound, a little over a half a pound of ground beef. It's sitting in the cooler right now because I had made a dish the other day that had ground beef in it, okay? But I only needed half of what I had. So I've got the other half available to mix with the rice. But what I use out at camp so that I don't have to worry about refrigeration. I use canned ground beef. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's Keystone has canned ground beef. They've got pork. They've got beef pieces. They've got chicken and turkey. All canned. Now this can has one pound, 12 ounces is the weight of this can. Now, after you take, there's, there'll be some fat at the top. When you open it, there'll be the fat from the beef cooking and it'll have juices in the bottom third, beef juice. That's just, oh, the flavor is awesome. You open the can and you take the fat off the top, pitch it. And then it's just pure ground beef with some beef juice in there. And it tastes excellent. I'm surprised it tastes as good as it does. It tastes like regular fried up ground beef, but it's in a can. You can put this on your shelf 
And, um, okay, I bought this. I actually bought this ground beef about two months ago. And it's best by date is July 29th of 2025. That's five years from now. Five years shelf life. Awesome. You can grab two, three cans of this and throw it in your gear when you're out for long-term camping. It works wonders for making chili, stuffed peppers, just I like to take a can of this beef and just make a brown gravy and mix it and eat it over potatoes. It's, oh yeah, it's good. Oh, for making like a um, shepherd's pie, which I'll be doing later this week. I'll maybe do a film of that too. The other ingredient, after the rice is done, it's got the beef in it and I stuff these peppers and the leftover rice and beef goes down around the edges. Then I top it all off. I pour this over the top of it. And this is Rotel, you know, I don't care what brand you use, you know, who cares? Um, but it's diced tomatoes and green chilies. And I pour that over the top of it. Now the, you don't have to add any other seasoning because this, these tomatoes with the green chilies are flavorful to start with. This Spanish rice has plenty of salt and other seasonings in it. And it's got that good Mexican kind of Spanish flavor. And then the peppers themselves add so much more flavor. So you don't have to season it any more than what these things will give it. But if you want to add seasoning, you go right ahead. So with that, I'm going to pause this video, stop it here. And um, after the rice is prepared and everything's put together, I'll, I'll, I'll come back and we'll stuff these peppers and have them ready to bake and, th and then I just slow cook these on a fire either it's not going to be the fire pit today but it, it it'll be on the Coleman stove but it'll be set at a very low temp so that they just slow cook just let them slow cook I like to cook them for about 45 minutes to an hour now comes the fun part All right, we got our peppers. I cooked up my nor rice, my Spanish rice, and I added the burger to it. Now we stuff the pe peppers. Just load them up. Don't worry about dripping any in the pan because there's going to there's going to be a bunch that you actually put down in the pan. But you just top off all four peppers, fill them up. Now there is a reason why I'm making these today. I checked the temp. Two o'clock in the afternoon. And it's only 54 degrees. It's a chilly day. Very chilly day. Perfect day for something like this. When these are done this evening, it's going to be chillier yet. And these nice, warm, I should say hot, stuffed peppers will be just the greatest pleasure to eat. Now as you can see, one pack of those Nor noodles, half a pound of ground beef, and four peppers is the perfect amount. I've had people say, for crying out loud, Stai, that's crazy. That's an awful lot of food for one person. This is two meals, by the way. Two very hearty meals. So you just kind of spread this rice around the top, let a little of it fall off it, so fine, let it get down in the pan. Oh, yeah, taste a little of it and it's just num, 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 num. 
it'll be so much better when the flavor of the peppers are added. Yeah. Okay. There they are, stuffed. Now, I got this can of diced tomatoes and green chilies. Now, I don't take the juice off of these. I don't strain them because there's not that much juice in here. And the added moisture helps in steaming these and cooking them. So, what do I do? I just pour this over. Get these tomatoes all over the top of it. There we go. Now you look at that and you go, well, Stye, you're never going to get the lid on there. Well, of course not. You got to spread these around and spread them around. The tomatoes are going to drop down around the peppers, in between the peppers, spread it all around. Now on a two quart Dutch oven, this is just perfect. The perfect size. Just kind of press them in here and there. Let some of that rice fall over in there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. This is going to be good, 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 good. Now, think of it. I prepped all this. The only thing I have to clean up is this pot. Wash this pot. Everything's done. When I'm done with the meal, and I use paper bowls, the only thing I'm going to have to wash, wash is a couple pieces of silverware and the cast iron pan. That's it. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. But there it is, all stuck in there. And I'll put this on a very, very low heat on my Coleman stove. Now this thing feels warm already, and it's because the rice and everything was still hot when I put it in. So, that's the only thing next in line is you put the lid on it. The lid fits just nicely on it. It's a full Dutch oven. That's gonna go on, oh boy, that's heavy now. <laughs> That's going to go onto the Coleman stove, and it's going to slow cook. I'll probably slow cook it for an hour, and then I'll turn it off and let it sit for another hour. Then I'll turn the heat back on, and I'll warm it up for about 15, 20 minutes, because it'll bring, it'll get, bring it all back up to the higher temp, and it's ready to have for dinner. So... I'll take a shot of it, a still a couple of still pictures of it served up, and we'll see you at the tail end. Well, folks, dinner's done. Check that out. Check that out. Two awesome stuffed peppers. Slow cooked, out at camp. The best of everything. How tender. Oh, they're super tender. Oops, 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 oops. Messy already. Super tender. I grabbed a plastic knife to cut the pepper with. Thinking, eh, might be tough. But oh no, oh no. Nice and tender. Oh lordy. And hot. Very hot. Look at that. Just look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my lord, is that good. Oh my lord. Awesome. A meal like this in the outdoors. Can't beat it. And I'll tell you what. I've only done this a few times. And I'm sure in the past I told myself, you need to do this more often. <laughs> now I'll eat this.
two peppers, and I'm going to be stuffed. I'm going to be as stuffed as these peppers. I'm going to start my campfire early tonight, and I'm going to hit the rack early because this stuff is going to want to put me to sleep. I'm going to be so stuffed. And the flavors are awesome. Just awesome. So with that, I'm going to have my dinner. Thanks for tagging along. I hope you like this recipe. Um, and like I said, it's so simple. Just all you need are some peppers. Hollow them out. Get a Norse Spanish rice mix. About a half a pound of burger. Fry up the burger. Now you could use ground pork sausage or any ground meat in there. You could use ground turkey or anything. And prepare your rice. Throw the meat, the cooked meat, into the rice. Just let it get good and hot. Stuff your peppers. Take a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies and pour it over the top and then slow simmer it for about an hour and then just let it sit. Let it sit for another hour or so. And then warm it back up for dinner. You'll love it. You'll love it. So simple, inexpensive, and filling and tasty. So I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll catch you down the road. If you haven't, haven't subscribed, please do ring the bell. You'll get notifications when videos go up and live streams are happening. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video, and leave me a comment. What do you think of the recipe? Hey, and until the next time, you all have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye.